today. Oh, sorry. My phone's right here. It got some um stuff up there. It got the 15 things. So today I'm going to be telling you what I've learned my freshman year of college, HBCU edition. So please pay attention. Number one, time management is very important. So you might have five to six classes your freshman year. Yes, that is normal, especially if you're in the honors program. And each one of those classes can have two things due in a week. In the same week, whether it's due in two days from the class, it can be due in a week, it can be due in two weeks. Either way, you're consistently getting classwork from each class. It's different from high school only because this is my experience. In high school, your homework was whatever you didn't finish in class. So now you learn in class and do homework on your own. You don't really, you don't do homework in class. Sorry, I'm watching this woman get ready for like, you know, her run. So she like skipping and jumping and stuff like that. But she, she, she doing what she need to do to get ready. So, yeah, but time management is very important, especially if you, um, have a lot of people, you know, to talk to who want to do a bunch of stuff over and over. There's a bunch of campus events. You got all that stuff. You want to walk around, look pretty, eat, sleep, all that stuff. You definitely need to be in with time management next number two i don't know why i thought i was gonna go to college and start cooking okay i don't know what made me think that um so don't buy pots and pans and none of that stuff because you will not be using it i definitely did eat at the dining hall almost every single day i only made one real meal my whole time there and that was let me tell y'all it wasn't even that much it was rice mixed vegetables with either sausage or chicken that's it that was my greens my starch if you know if starch isn't rice i don't know right now at this moment but that was the only meal i made but that was also because the kitchen also didn't open and i didn't have my car my freshman year and a lot of colleges are like that so if you're not able to go and get food whenever you want to then there's a chance that you wouldn't be cooking how you want to as well so yeah that's that number three the amount of friends that you have in the beginning of your college is probably going to change by the end things happen so for one all those group chats that you're in right now those people are most likely still going to be different but if y'all decide to you know stay cool and like that and link with each other in the beginning and y'all like each other's vibe then there's a chance that y'all will stay together and you won't have to be looking around trying to make friends but if you're not someone who does very well communicating through the phone and stuff like that, then definitely um, try to make friends in the beginning of the year. Um, hey y'all, it's another day. Same location, but different location. But I had to make sure I finished this video for y'all. So now, number three, I have take care of your health. This is very important because like when you get older and stuff like that, Adults times, you know, try to like scare you that you're going to get the freshman 15, stuff like that. Because all you're going to be eating is junk foods, microwavable foods. I used to eat like three heated up Velveetas every single day. But like, we're not going to be doing that next semester. And I stopped eating noodles in college because I was like, they're not good for you. You start to do your research and stuff like that. But definitely take care of your health. Keep keep make some time out the day like if you're not in the sport like understand you're going to be walking around campus you're going to be going upstairs stuff like that but at least take one day out of the week just to work out not even just work out you know jog find somewhere you know just do it in your room do a little workout section a little at home workout section on youtube just take the time to take care of your health um the next one is make time for yourself mentally and physically. Definitely take care of your health mentally. Just because people want to go out all the time, take that time to go lay on your bed, watch some of your favorite TV shows, and you're going to be happy just because of that. Don't look back on what you missed out on. Just take the time to chill. It's not always work, party, you know, just take the time to chill. Lay down in your bed. Physically, again, work out, do what you need to do. If you have the time to get up and you feel like you're laying in bed all the day, all day, 
get up and go take a walk around campus. You know, you never know if you might meet someone or might find like a spot around campus that you don't see many people at and you feel like you could do work at. Just take care of your health mentally and physically. Next one I have is join a club or organization or yeah, join a club or organization once you have the time to. Um, if you feel like you can balance a club or organization, that's just because you can meet some wonderful people in a club or organization. I definitely can say that I met. I would hope we would have been more of friends, but at least two people from the group that I was in, that I feel like I can still go to if I wanted to. Next I have, okay, this is another thing I learned in college. People have their own spaces now. So they treat it like it's an apartment and that people, and that the walls aren't thin because our walls were thin at Virginia State University, quad one, quad side B. The people will blast music, have parties in their room at like 3 a.m. on a Wednesday afternoon. It's crazy. And you're going to be mad at them. But it's like, you're you're not going to change what they do, regardless. If they're having fun, they're having fun. You're not going to change what they do, unless possibly an RA comes up. But that's very rare because some of them just, like, let them live. Or they won't even be there. You don't even know. Next, I have bring a TV or a game system, if that's something that entertains you while you're at home. I definitely regret it because I had a lot of free time on my hands, so I definitely would have liked to pull out my game system or, you know, um, play Fortnite or something. Or Sims, you know, grew to like more games, more things in my room that could just make me like relax. And for the TV, if you're like me, I was like, I'm not even going to be watching TV. I got a MacBook. I got something I can watch on. Why would I pay money for a TV? Um, your sides on your hips definitely start to get tired when you're laying in bed. And all you're doing is like you keep switching and switching. You think you want to lay in your stomach, you want to lay in your back. And all that is in the middle of your show. Like... You're going to be hurting just because, unless you have like some type of stand that you can put it on. But for me, I was just laying on the bed and I would lay on my side, have my headphones in, and I'd go to the other side. And then, okay, maybe I want to lay on my stomach, maybe I'll lay on my back. But it was a lot because if I just had a TV, it doesn't matter how I lay it, as long as I see the TV. Okay. Next I have, you don't have to have the best style to make friends, your HBCU. Um, definitely it will bring up confidence because you're going to be around a lot of people that have, have style, you know, have their own fashion sense. So if you're walking around every single day with joggers and slides, unless you hundred percent don't care, you're going to like, feel like, okay, well I need to do more. Are you going to feel less confident because you don't look like them? And I definitely feel like I have to up my game up for next year and I'm going to try my best. Amazon haul coming soon. But yeah. Next, I have, it's okay to go to the calf alone. Just because, just because someone isn't available at some time. Like, maybe even during lunchtime, you, all your friends have class and you don't. Go to the calf for lunch or for dinner or whatever. If they're not available, that doesn't mean you starve or you keep eating noodles all day. Go to the calf by yourself. You don't even have to sit in there. But even if you do, it's cool. Just watch YouTube. People really mind their business and they're not going to come up to you tap your shoulder and laugh at you that you lonely they're not gonna do that there might be a chance that somebody even might come up and talk to you just because like they want to make a friend or something like that but yeah go to the calf it's not illegal to go alone if a okay this is a good one because i had to learn this sometimes if a class gets canceled to me this is how i think about it if a class gets canceled that's still time when you're productive. If you have absolutely nothing to do, like all your work is done, you just, you know, you're lucky like that. But if you still have work to do, still use the class time that got canceled to do work. Like go to the library, go to some comfort spot and go do work. Like it's okay. You don't have to go back to sleep because then you're going to come with routine and all you're doing when you get free time is just laying down, laying down, laying down. No, stay productive. And then by the end of the week, such as Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you're going to be chill. You can do whatever you want. You can go out on the weekend. You can do spend your money. I don't know. Just like you don't have to lay down in the bed or trying to figure out how you're going to write a five to six page paper through Sunday, through Saturday and Sunday. 
Next I have, you don't have to go to parties. You don't have to go to parties to have fun. But there's still a memory that you can have. You don't have to go to every single party. You just have to, you know, you can go to campus events and sometimes they're boring, but like you went, you know what I mean? That's just my opinion. You went, you're not in the bed laying down watching the same Netflix show that you could watch later. You know, you tried to get out, you know? Yeah. Next F, still talk to your friends that you have back home because it's easy to lose your friends. It's very easy to lose my friends. I am someone who has, I feel like I lost her, but at the same time, I didn't lose her. Um, if you know who you are, you are. I feel like we could have been best friends forever, but it's okay. And I'm still going to try to talk to you because I still feel like you're someone I can trust. And hopefully you're still someone I can trust. If you even watch this video, if she didn't watch this video, text me if you watch this video. And if it's you, then I will tell you if it's you. If it's not, it's not. But, yeah, still talk to your friends back home because they're just as important as the people at college. Take your hobby with you and still enjoy the things that calm you down. Basically, I enjoy arting. I oh, arting. I enjoy painting. I enjoy dancing. I enjoy um, learning new things, hair, nails. For that example, I'm gonna invest in you know what I like to do, or take that stuff that I have at my house and bring it with me because sometimes it's good to just want to develop ways to make money. And again, that's well, that is gonna be a video that I have coming up: ways to make money in college. Not necessarily like online, work at home, you know, like stuff like that. Like hobbies you can learn right now so then when you get to college, there's a way for you to make money. Next I have, go to your campus events. Go to your campus events. No matter what you're doing, unless like you know that you're going to have more fun with your friend and stuff like that, just go to the campus events. Don't lean a bit. I don't know I've been saying this the whole video, but don't go lean a bit. This is my last one. This is number 16. This is a bonus. So for y'all, y'all listening real good. Start a YouTube channel. And yeah, that's all really all I have for y'all today. Just so, or just start recording. Start recording your life. Take screen. Take. Start recording your life. You're not gonna regret it. You're gonna see it go from, or you're gonna see it from, and that's gonna motivate you to go. So, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Goodbye. My name is Takela, and if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, peace out.